Superhero video games have not always been that good. Some developers have had good intentions over the years, but the games that they created were generic and basically nothing special and not that much fun to play. Now, in a lot of cases, it's because the companies knew that having the intellectual property of Spider-Man or Batman would mean that the game would sell well regardless of whether it was actually any good. Basically, people are buying it because Batman's in it, so why bother to throw any money at it? We're going to get cash anyway. Bit short-sighted and not very nice for the fans, but that's the way companies think. It's all about the bottom line. However, this all changed with Batman Arkham Asylum. After this, the bar was raised on superhero games, to the point where current day superhero games are absolutely amazing. At least some of them are. There are still bad ones, of course. And we're going to look at the video games being released in 2022, which hopefully will be some of the amazing ones. Gotham Knights. This is a game that I have personally been waiting for for years, and it was meant to come out sooner, but it was delayed to 2022. Now in the video game, Batman is dead, and you play as the Bat Family, who are in Gotham City to pick up the slack. You can be Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, Barbara Gordon, or Tim Drake. Each of them has unique skills and abilities, such as Barbara Gordon being able to summon a flock of bats to defend herself, or Tim Drake being able to teleport using the Justice League Watchtower satellites. And from the trailers, it looks like Barbara Gordon's gameplay is the most similar to the Arkham Batman's gameplay. So basically playing as her will be as close as we can get to playing as Batman, which is why I'm personally looking forward to playing with her character the most. But you can of course choose any one of these four to play as. Now the Bat Family goes up against the Court of Owls as the main plot of the game, but it does look like there'll be a lot of other villains and a lot of other side missions throughout the Gotham City. So there's going to be a lot to do. Now the game is made by Montreal Studios, who made the Batman Arkham Origins game, which was the least successful of the Arkham games, but it's actually not as bad as people say. And in all honesty, Gotham Knights actually looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to play. Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League Rocksteady Studios, the company behind the Arkham series, are finally releasing their new game, in which you play as the Suicide Squad. And for those who don't know, the Suicide Squad is a band of supervillains. They're basically a bunch of villains who have gone to prison and then had bombs put in their heads. And then they're sent out by the government on secret missions. And if they refuse any orders they're given, then their heads are blown up. Now you may wonder why they'd go to all that trouble to send villains out, or why they wouldn't just send normal soldiers or spies. And the reason is because these missions are just so risky that barely anyone survives. Hence the name, Suicide Squad. And the playable supervillains in the game are Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, Deadshot and King Shark. And each character has unique abilities and skills, such as King Shark's extreme strength, Deadshot's guns and Captain Boomerang's teleporting. Now the plot of the game is basically the title, but essentially, Brainiac is invading, or at least attacking the Earth, and he seems to have mind controlled the Justice League members. And so, it's up to the Suicide Squad to take them down. Which is a bit ridiculous considering the difference in their power levels, but I'm sure it's going to lead to some very interesting boss fights throughout the game. Now, personally, I would have preferred for Rocksteady to just make another Arkham game, but this does look pretty interesting. And at the end of the day, who doesn't enjoy a story told from the perspective of the bad guys? They normally have much more interesting character arcs after all. DC League of Super Pets, The Adventures of Crypto and Ace To coincide with the release of the DC Super Pets film, there will also be a spin-off video game that looks like it has quite basic gameplay to be honest. The game will be starring Superman's dog Crypto, who is voiced by The Rock, and it will star Batman's dog Ace, who is voiced by Kevin Hart. Or at least they voiced them in the actual movie, we don't know for sure if it will be the same in the video game, but hopefully it will. There's not really a lot to say about this, as there aren't many details that have been released, though from the trailer it looks like quite simple gameplay meant for young kids. But we'll have to wait and see before we know for sure, it might surprise us. Marvel's Midnight Suns Now this game is coming out in March, and it's a strategy RPG that blends turn-based gameplay with abilities that are executed through a randomised deck of cards. And the game's story involves a team of heroes coming together to stop the magical threat of Lilith, who has been resurrected by Hydra. And the new hero, Hunter, who is the child of Lilith, is the only one who can kill her. 
and basically the other heroes are going to help Hunter take her down. The game is going to feature 13 different Marvel heroes, including Wolverine, Captain America, Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, and Blade, just to name a few. And it looks like it's going to be separate from the other Marvel games that are being released, as several have actually been released in 2021, and more are planned to come out in the future. And those are all the superhero games coming out in 2022, or at least all the major ones. Though there are a couple of other games that are going to be coming out later on. We have the next Spider-Man game, which will feature both of the Spider-Men as playable characters, though it's only a one-player game, so you'll only be able to play as one of them at one time. And the basic plot of it seems to be that Venom is going to come to town, and chaos ensues. And this game is expected to come out in 2023. And a Wolverine game is also in the lineup. Insomniac Studios are making it, and since they made the Spider-Man games, I actually think that this Wolverine game is going to be worth the wait, as they seem to be able to do superheroes rather well, building the game to suit their superpowers. But we'll have to wait and see. Sadly, there is no release date on this yet, but it's not likely to be before 2023 at the earliest, and quite likely it will come out later than this. And personally, out of all the games coming out in 2022, I'm actually most looking forward to playing Gotham Knights, because hopefully it'll be a lot like the Arkham games, which I love, but it also looks like it could be a lot of fun. And I'm also really happy just to be getting a Bat Family game, because it's been quite a while since we've had a proper one. But which one of these games are you most excited for? Be sure to tell us in the comments.